finding eigenvalues on the TI-84 calculators without writing a program. For our first example, we will find the eigenvalues of the matrix 1, 2, 3, 4. To do this by hand, we solve the equation the determinant of lambda i minus a is equal to zero. And this is done as shown below. When we have the quadratic equation of lambda squared minus 5 lambda minus 2 equal to zero, we can use the quadratic formula and get the solutions to 5 plus or minus square root of 33 over 2. Or that lambda will approximately be 5.37 or a negative 0.37. Our first example has us determine the eigenvalues of the matrix 1, 2, 3, 4. We shall enter in this matrix first. So we'll go ahead and hit second in the reciprocal key. That takes us to the matrix menu. We'll select edit and we'll enter in the number of rows and then the number of columns, both being two in this case. And now we're able to enter in the entries to the matrix, which in this case is 1, 2, 3, 4. Now at this point, we're going to return to the home screen, and after that, we're going to access the solver command to begin typing in the characteristic polynomial. So we'll go ahead and hit second mode. And then we'll hit math, and we'll scroll until we get to the solver command. Now at this particular command, this is where we're going to type in the characteristic polynomial. And we're going to type it in as the determinant of x times the identity matrix minus a, the matrix that we just got done typing in. So we'll go ahead and do that. So we'll hit second and reciprocal key. That brings us to the matrix menu. We'll scroll over to math and we'll select the first command, the determinant. Then we'll go ahead and hit the X variable key. And then we'll go back to the matrix menu. We'll select math again. And we'll select option five, the identity. And we'll type in the number two. Our identity matrix will be of two by two dimension. Then we'll close that off. We'll hit the minus key. And then we hit second and reciprocal key again to get to the matrix menu. And we select the matrix A. And then I hit the down arrow to get to the next part of the solver program. And now that I have the characteristic equation entered in, we need to supply an initial guess in the x equal slot. And I shall enter in a guess of zero. So I'll hit zero, and then I'll hit alpha and enter. And here the value is about negative 0.37228. And we see that the left minus the right equals zero, which implies the solver command zeroed in on this root. Now let's return to the home screen and compare the results here with the actual solution we determined by our hand calculations. So we'll hit second and mode. we'll type in the x value so we have it up on the screen to compare. And then we'll type in our eigenvalue that we found from our hand calculations. In this case, we'll do 5 minus the square root of 33. And we'll divide this difference by 2. And here we can see they are exactly the same up to 10 decimal places. Let's see if we can determine the other eigenvalue. We'll go back under the solver command to do this and change our initial guess to 5. So we'll hit math, scroll to the solver command, and select it. And then we'll simply type in 5 for the x equals, and we'll hit alpha enter again to activate the solving procedure. With our new guess, we have a new result for x, approximately 5.372.
And let's go back to the home screen and compare these results. So we'll go second in mode. We'll hit the X variable key again to bring up this new solution. And we'll simply change the minus sign to a plus sign in our eigenvalue that we found by hand. And then we'll hit enter. And here we can see the results are identical up to 10 decimal places. And this is how we can find eigenvalues without writing a program for this first example. For our next example, we'll find the eigenvalues of a 3x3 three three matrix. In this example, the matrix will be 3, 2, 1, 4, 2, 1, and then 4, 4, 0. Again, solving the characteristic equation by taking the determinant of lambda i minus a equal to 0, we end up with the cubic equation lambda cubed minus 5 lambda squared minus 10 lambda minus 4 is equal to 0. Using formulas for solving cubic equations, we have that lambda could be negative 1, or lambda could be 3 plus or minus the square root of 13. And these values are approximately 6.605 and negative 0.605 respectively. For our second example, we are asked to find the eigenvalues of the matrix 3, 2, 1, 4, 2, 1, and 4, 4, 0. We shall proceed in a similar way as was done with the first example. So we'll hit second and reciprocal key to get to the matrix menu. We'll go over to edit. We'll type in the number of rows and then the number of columns. And then we'll hit enter to get to the matrix entries. And then we'll start typing in the entries to the matrix. So we have 3, 2, 1 for the first row, 4, 2, 1 for the second row, and then 4, 4, 0 for the last row. All right, now that we have our matrix entered, we shall return to the home screen and then activate the solver program. So we'll hit second in mode to quit. Hit the math button to go to the uh, solver command. And now we will enter in the characteristic polynomial as before, the determinant of xi minus a. So I'll go ahead and go back under the matrix menu, find the determinant command, and then I'll hit the x variable, go back under the matrix menu, activate the identity command, and this time it's a 3x3 three three matrix, and then minus back under the matrix menu and select the A matrix where we stored our value. Now we need to supply a guess in the X equal slot and I will initially guess 10. So I'll type in 10 and then I'll hit alpha and enter and then it will give me a solution. And here X is approximately 6.605 and let's compare this result with the ones we obtained by hand. So I'll go back to the home screen by hitting second in mode. I'll call up the x variable we just calculated. And then I'll type in 3 plus the square root of 13. And as we can see, the results are identical. Let's see if we can find another eigenvalue. In order to do this, all we have to do is change our initial guess. So this time I will use 0 as my initial guess. So I'll go back under math, the solver, and just change the guess to zero, and then hit alpha and enter to solve. And here I obtain negative 0.605. And let's compare this result with the one I found by hand. So we'll hit second in mode, call up the x variable for comparison, and then we'll type in three minus the square root of 13. And we'll hit enter. And here we can see the results again are identical. Let's find the last eigenvalue. This time I shall guess negative 2. So back under math, back under solver, change that x equals number to just negative 2, 
and hit alpha enter to activate the program. And here we get negative one, which matches our eigenvalue exactly. And this is how you can use the solver command on the TI calculator to find eigenvalues. In this example, we will graph the characteristic polynomial of the matrix 5, 7, negative 4, negative 2. And to do this, we'll first generate the characteristic polynomial as before by taking the determinant of lambda i minus a, which in our case results in lambda minus 5 times lambda plus 2, and then we'll add 28 to that product. And we will graph this polynomial. On this slide, we can see a graph of the characteristic polynomial as generated in the software package GeoGebra. In this example, we are asked to graph the characteristic polynomial of the matrix 5, 7, negative 4, negative 2. And this is done as follows. We will go ahead and go under the matrix menu. We'll highlight edit, and then we'll select matrix A. We have a 2 by 2 matrix, so we'll go ahead and enter in the two rows and the two columns. And then we'll enter in our values, 5 and then 7, and then negative 4 and negative 2. All right, now we will return to the home screen, and we're going to hit the Y equals key so we may plot the characteristic polynomial. So we'll go ahead and do that. Hit second in mode, and then hit Y equals. So we're going to go back under matrix now by hitting second in reciprocal, scroll over to math, and hit the determinant option. Hit the X variable key, and go back under the matrix menu. Select option 5, the identity matrix, and type in 2, so we have the dimensions of the identity. And then minus, back under the matrix menu. Select matrix A, where we put our entries. And now we have it ready to graph. We'll hit zoom in 6, and we can see here that nothing happens. So we're going to hit window, and we're going to scroll down to Y max, and we're going to set that to 50. And then we're going to hit graph. And here is a graph of the characteristic polynomial. And this is how you can graph characteristic polynomials. If you wish to have a small program that will do these operations for you, you may go to www.ticalc.org and do a search for the word eigenvalues. There will be a small program that I have posted there, and the zip file is called eigenvalues. If you do a search for Jeremy Lane on this website, you will find this program, as well as over 500 other programs available to you that I've written. There are hundreds of authors who publish programs here, and thousands of programs available. Thank you for your time and attention, and good luck to you finding eigenvalues with the TI-84 calculator.